Today's video is on the chain rule. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to apply the chain rule to compositions of power functions and polynomials. So, simply put, the chain rule of a composition is just the derivative of what I call the outside function composed with the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. Now that may seem like a lot, uh, and if we cover some examples here, perhaps that will help. So let's look at some examples of compositions of functions. Here's one, x squared plus 2 all cubed. The outside function in this case is f of x equals x cubed. The inside function is all this. This is our g of x. Now composing these two, what you do to compose them is take this inside function and you put it wherever an x is in the outside function. So you sub it in there. Now in this case, if we were to do that, you can see that we do indeed get back to our original function. Here's another example. In this case, the outside function is x to the 1 third. The inside function is all of this. So you can see if I take this inside function and put it wherever an x appears in the outside function, you get this entire function here. One more example is the sine of x squared plus 3. So here the outside function is sine of x and the inside function is x squared plus 3. And again, you can see if I sub this in wherever there's an x appearing here, then I arrive back here. Okay, so this video will only focus on differentiating compositions like those in example 1 and 2. Uh, we'll cover trigonometric functions later on in the course, and so that's not the focus of this video. So now let's actually differentiate this example. So recall the chain rule if I have a composition of functions, so f composed with g. The derivative of that is the derivative of f composed with g times the derivative of g. Okay, so in order to do this I need to identify what the f and the g are. So in this case, my oops, my f of x is x cubed, my g of x is x squared plus 3. Now these are easy functions to differentiate. The derivative of f is just 3x squared, and the derivative of g is just 2x. Okay, now I can put these back into this chain rule formula, and I find f prime, oh, sorry, f of g all prime is equal to, well, f prime composed with g. So now I take f prime, which is 3 times x squared, and wherever an x appears, I sub in g prime, or sorry, I sub in g, which in this case is x squared plus 3. Now I multiply all of this by g prime, which is just 2x. Okay, and I can simplify that slightly as 6x x squared plus 3 squared. Great. Let's look at one more example. 
So here, as we've seen, f of x is just x to the one-third. g of x is x to the five plus one over x. f prime of x, well, you bring this exponent down, and you subtract one from that exponent, so now I have minus two-thirds. Similarly, g prime of x is just 5x to the 4 minus 1 over x squared. So now the derivative of this entire thing derivative of all this is just the derivative of the outside function composed with the inside function multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. And that's the chain rule.